this is the complete guide for the two-handed backhand. So the things that I'm about to show you should really help you out with your two-handed backhand. And I have a one-hander, but I have studied the two-handed backhand very, very in-depth. I've analyzed the pros and you're going to be able to look at videos of people who hit it. I've got some video footage of ITF uh, women uh, hitting the shot. They're juniors actually, but they're so good that they're literally competing with women and they play at my club. And you'll also get to see the likes of Novak Djokovic and other players who have, you know, the best two-handed backhands. And I'm going to show you some things that if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for you, okay? We've got common threads, a term that was coined by a great tennis coach by the name of Christophe DeVote. And I'm going to be showing you some very, very interesting things that are going to help you out on this shot. So the first thing, our preparation, this is the basics. Our hands are together, okay, elbows away from your body. Now, with our established ready position, we have to make a unit turn, all right? with our body and it goes like this. We turn and we need to get this arm straight and the back arm is bent. It's been scientifically proven that the left side drives the swing. So you wanna make sure that you're treating this like a left-handed forehand. Now, a lot of people know this is pretty simple, but let's get into the interesting stuff. So from this position and We've simply just taken the racket straight back and straightened this arm, okay? We want to make sure that there's a letter L here and a letter L here, okay? Because if this drops, our racket face is going to open up. So what we want to do is push the racket down into the slot position. It's because we're going to lead with the butt cap, okay? And that's how we're going to get the flip, which we'll get to in a second. We want to push the racket down with the left side, okay? into the slot. And now from here, okay, when we take our step out and we swing, we'll get to that in a second, we want to swing up a flight of stairs and then go through shoulder underneath the chin. This swing we have to rip up through the ball, okay? And the, the finish is pretty much the exact same every time, okay? It's shoulder underneath the chin up here, okay? We also want to make sure that we're turning more than sideways as well, okay? You don't want to not turn enough, okay? It's very important that you pull the racket back essentially as far as possible. At contact, our body is at a 45 degree angle. If you can see here, that's straight and I'm here. I'm staying with the ball. It's very important that my eyes are at contact point. So how this swing is gonna go, okay? These are just the basics. We go over the bridge, get the racket into the slot, lead with the butt cap, up the hill, and around the beach ball. So you wanna have somewhat of a Ferris wheel swing to the slot. And then when we get here, we go from inside to outside and back to the inside. You wanna make sure that when you swing, you relax it with the elbows and not the wrist, okay? You don't wanna snap the wrist. We wanna keep the wrist back, actually. Okay, we lead with the butt cap and this creates the lag and the flip and at contact, it's literally a left-handed forehand, like this. And then, boom, just like that, shoulder underneath the chin, okay? And then you open up. When you take the racket back, we also want to keep a letter L in the wrist. And then, when we go to put it back in the slot, we relax the right wrist. Okay, for a right-handed player. And now we start to drive the butt cap forwards with the right arm and the left arm. So we're using both arms now, but still predominantly ripping from this side. Now, this is the end of what are the basics that you need to cover. And what you wanna do is in the footwork, 
try and open up the hips. Go heel to toe to your target. If you want to hit cross court, you've got to open up here and drive our hips into the shot. It's going to be hard to hit, you know, closed stance because it's a lot harder to rotate into the ball. Sometimes you're going to have to do this. You're going to be put in this position, but try and avoid it as much as possible. So if you want to hit down the line, for example, you want to open the hips by pointing the toe to our target. Okay, this is a tip by the great Andre Agassi. So you want to make sure that you keep the racket vertical at contact point. Okay? Hit the wall and then shake hands with the giant. Okay? Up here. Okay? With both of your hands. It's a two-part swing. All right? And when we do this, don't get mistaken that um, you freeze here. I'm just demonstrating. You don't want to hold the racket here. It's a continuous swing where I set, right? Shoulder turn, sit in a chair, slot, contact point, shoulder underneath the chin. Okay, and all the pros finish like this and we have the letter L in the stance where we freeze. Okay, it's like the Statue of Liberty. Now, let's talk a little bit more about the racket flip. So a lot of people, they pull the racket way back, right? And everyone is good like this if you have enough time, but in modern tennis, there is not enough time. So what you want to do is pull the racket back to 630. And when you turn, you want to keep it on the outside of your body. You don't want it to disappear behind your back. Okay, you can turn your back more, but make sure that you keep the racket on this side of you. Okay, now what you're going to do is, right, we've got our arm straight and our other arm is bent and it's a pull push which is pulling with the right arm to get into the slot and lead with the butt and pushing with the left arm that is going to give us the racket flip where the racket is going to go from inside to outside and then back to the inside when we finish the swing you should really try and keep the racket head above the wrist because this will make you start the show with the legs by getting down to the height of the ball so you can transfer your body weight through it effectively. Some players, and they've obviously been successful with this, um, the likes of right Venus Williams, where she just drops the racket head down here, okay? And a lot of the women players and perhaps even some of the men, they go like this and you can get away with it a little bit more on the two-handed backhand, but there is a better way to do it, which is keeping the racket head above the wrist and this is very efficient if you're trying to you know get more leverage and power through the shot and right once we've got this upwards position you want to pull the racket as far as you can from outside so starting outside right well this is you could argue it's inside because my arm is up against my chest but we've got the racket out here instead of back here right and if it's good enough for Djokovic it's good enough for you and then we go outside even more, and this would be ultimate leverage and power, honestly, truly, because the most dangerous thing on the two-handed backhand is having, you know, bent elbows. You'll lose power. It's going to happen, right? Sometimes emergency situations, but ideally, we want to get this position 100%, okay? 95% of the time. Okay, good morning my patients. Welcome back to another shot analysis. We've got the two-handed backhand. I'm going to be showing you three players. First, we're going to start with Djokovic. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for you. And the two players that will follow are two ITF girls players. And even though it's two different styles of game, you know, three different styles of players, they all are going to share the same common threads, which I'm going to point out. And like I said, it's a must, must, must. These three people that I'm going to show you check all the boxes. Two of them I know personally in real life. They're all great players. And if it's good enough for them, you should follow along as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. We've got Djokovic first and let's get into it. So we've got the grip change and I'm going to pause here. As you can see, Djokovic's already getting an amazing coil. His upper body 
is turning more than sideways to stay sideways at contact point. And he's coiled past his hips. And don't let it deceive you right now that I'm pausing the video and don't think that he's holding the racket here and pausing. The backhand is a continuous swing, okay? So don't feel like you should be freezing your racket up here. It's one continuous motion and it's a two-part swing for the most part. It goes slow to fast. This is a slow motion video. Straight arm and against his body, which is his right arm and the left arm is bent. Okay, that's a must, must, must. And he's taking it along his waistline and the racket is to the outside of his body. Now, we've also got this shoulder higher than this shoulder. Okay, another common thread, it's very important. But watch the swing now. I want you to pay attention to his foot. Okay, anchor foot, boom. Okay, he stepped out. The butt cap is leading towards the ball. We also have a common thread where the racket is usually on an angle back here. This is about 45 degrees, okay? Boom, like this. That's called setting the racket on edge. And then we have the drop of the wrist, okay? It's like a relaxation of the right wrist as you can see I'll just clear the lines here notice how the position of it drops so he's dropped the racket under the ball okay so the racket you know usually does fall uh, below the wrist on the two-handed backhand which is fine okay a lot of players do it it works for them it's not the same as the one-handed backhand so let's keep going and to the contact point boom Nice and away from his body, okay? Parallel with the baseline, excellent contact point. He shifted his weight from his back leg now, so he's getting up on his toe to his front. Very important as well. And usually the body will be at a 45 degree angle at contact point. So not too open, but not too sideways as well. Let's get that back. So again, we'll watch it all the way through. Wait for him to get to contact point. Boom. Okay. And watch the finish. Up. The racket head always ends up in this position. You'll see that in the other players as well. So the follow through is not only across, but it's also high. Okay, it's important that we have it high and across as well. Now, let's take it back again and look at something else. So, this shot is a left-handed forehand, essentially. You want to pull back with both arms. He drops the right wrist. Boom. Watch the position. The right wrist drops. And then it's a pulling motion of the butt cap using both arms, predominantly this side though. It's a left-handed forehand. And as you watch, he's gonna pull and roll. Okay, now the left arm is gonna go over the ball like this. Just watch, boom. Okay, that was a little more through, but you guys get the idea, okay? And the other arm isn't even there. It's a left-handed forehand. Okay, so I hope that gives you a good idea of Djokovic's backhand. Now, let's go take a look at the other player. Okay, so we've got the first player other than Djokovic. She's left-handed, and you will see the common threads. And she has a really good backhand, so that's why I'm showing it to you guys. And let's get right into it. Okay, boom, so right there, common thread. She pulled the racket, cross her waistline, got the left arm straight and the right arm 
is bent. And the bracket is to the outside of her body. It's a lot easier to see uh, from this angle. It's a textbook setup. Okay. The racket faces at a 45 degree angle on edge. Okay. Very textbook. The butt cap is also leading towards the ball now, as you can see. And there it is again. So she's left-handed, so her left wrist has now dropped. It was upright first, and then it drops below the ball. And now, at contact point, same thing. Body's at a 45-degree angle, okay? And she has not fully exploded up with the legs. You want to, you know, usually stay down. So we're going to watch again how she shifts her weight. But yeah, now look. And the back foot comes through. She finishes up on her toes. Very good. Let's play that again. So she shifts the weight to the back leg. Boom. She delays the step with the toe. Tap the toe. The weight's here. And it's watch how it's going to shift from back to front. Boom. Okay, heel the toe, boom, and the shift from left to front, drag the back foot, okay, watch how it's going to come through. Pay attention to the feet only, back leg, heel the toe, boom, perfect, and the finish as well, take this back a second. Look at the angle of the racket face. It's the same. Two different players, two different styles of play, but the basic fundamentals are the exact same. Okay, now let's go to the third play. Okay, so for the last player, we've got another amazing two-handed backhand. Let's get right into it. And all three of these people share the same common threads. She's right-handed, boom. Okay, a little bit of a different style, but we still, her arm is basically pretty much straight. It's got a little bit of a bend there. Um, watch the back elbow. Okay, the racket gets into the same position. Boom, the elbow's up. The racket's at a 45 degree angle. And you can tell she's really using her left side here. She drops the racket. Butt cap is driving towards the ball. She's pulling now with both arms. Drops. Boom. Now watch the roll. Okay. Boom. And the racket finishes in the same position. Now let's pay attention to her feet. Great swing. Okay. She coils her upper body. Now... Again, shift the weight to the outside leg, heel the toe with the front. Perfect, heel the toe. Very, very good example. And watch the shift. The back foot comes behind in order to rotate the hips through the shot while staying sideways. Her body's at a 45 degree angle. It doesn't get any more textbook than this. And she stays down and after, she shifts her weight fully up after she's hit the ball. And now she returns to her starting position. So there you have it, guys. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this two-handed backhand video analysis. And I'll see you guys in the next video.